can describe polygons, I can classify shapes by their attributes. Does anybody know what an attribute is? That's a big word. Okay, let's think of it as a characteristic. You know, like when you describe something, something that you know about it, you know, maybe that Jace has brown hair. But we're describing, you know, shapes. Okay? So, I actually brought a book today that kind of goes along with this. It's called The Greedy Triangle. Okay? I read that book. You read it before? Okay, here we go. Once there was a triangle that was, as most triangles are, always busy. The triangle spent its time holding up roofs, supporting bridges, making music in a sympathy, sympathy orchestra, catching the wind for sailboats, being slices of pie and halves of sandwiches, and much, much more. See all the triangles? Okay, is that a shape? Yes. How many sides does it have? Three. Three. Okay. The triangle's fi favorite thing, however, was to slip into place when people put their hands on their hips. That way I always hear the latest news, it said, which I can tell to my friends. The triangle's friends liked hearing the news. So if you do your hands like this, what's the shape in between them? Yep, you see the triangle? Okay. That was his favorite thing to do. One day the triangle began to feel dissatisfied. I'm tired of doing the same old things, it grumbled. There must be more to life. So the triangle went to see the local shape shifter. How may I help you? The shape shifter asked the triangle. I think if I had just one more side and one more angle, said the triangle, my life would be more interesting. That's easy to do, said the shape shifter. Poof! The shape shifter turned the triangle into a what? Quadrilateral. A quadrilateral. Why is it a quadrilateral? It has four sides. Four sides. Okay. Life changed in a wonderful way. The quadrilateral was happy with all the new things it could do. The quadrilateral could be a baseball diamond or first second or third base it could take a position on a checkered board board or a chess board it could be a television screen a computer screen or a movie screen it could frame windows or frame pictures and much much more so how many squares are in this room do you think do you see any quadrilaterals around here yeah. you got cinder blocks your desk the door. The door. Um, the extra frame. Yep, so they're all around us. Okay? The quadrilateral's favorite thing, however, was to be the pages of a book. I learned so many interesting stories that way, it said, which I can tell my friends. The quadrilateral's friends liked hearing the stories. So if you look at your paper, is it a quadrilateral? Yes. Yep. But one day the quadrilateral began to feel dissatisfied. I'm tired of doing the same old things, it grumbled. There must be more to life. So the quadrilateral went back to the shapeshifter. How may I help you now? The shapeshifter asked the quadrilateral. I think if I had just one more side and one more angle, said the quadrilateral, my life would be more interesting. That's easy to do, said the shapeshifter. Poof! Shape shifter turn the quadrilateral into a. Does anybody know what that would be? A pentagon. It has five sides. Life changed in a wonderful way. The pentagon was happy with all the new things it could do. On a baseball diamond, the pentagon could be home plate, it could be a section on a soccer ball, or appear inside whenever someone drew a five pointed star. Draw, draw a five pointed star. Everybody see that? Look. What's inside of it? The Pentagon. You see it? The Pentagon's favorite thing, however, was to be the headquarters of the United States military near Washington, D.C. I hear all the top secrets that way it said. It's too bad. The They're the same. So is this angle the same as this one? Yes. What's the same as this one? Yes. 
Yes. Yes. Okay, so it has four equal angles. So do you think you could draw a square beside this? That way I remember what it looks like? When you look back in your notebook, you can see what it looks like, what it's called, and its attributes. Okay. Okay. Yep. Why is this not a square? Because they all have the same size. It's there's two sets of parallel lines. Yep. So you have, you do have two sets of parallel lines. But is this side the same length as this side? No. No. So with a rectangle. This. A rectangle has two sets of equal sides. So are these two sides the same? Yeah. Yes. Are these two sides the same? Yes. Yep, so it has Two sets or two pairs of equal sides. Or parallel lines. Parallel lines. Two sets of equal sides. Okay, now what about the angles in this? Are the angles the same? Or are they different? Same. 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 They're the same. Okay, so they're the same as a square. They're all the same angle. See that? Same. So you can say. And square. Mm -hmm. Equal angle. Okay, I got a trick question. I'll see if someone can figure it out. Can a rectangle be a square? Yes. yes. Can it? No. Can a rectangle be a square? No. Look at your notes. What does a square have to have? Four equal sides. Four equal sides. Does this have four equal sides? No. Can a square be a rectangle? Uh oh. Yes. 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 What does a rectangle have to have? Two lines or equal sides. Uh huh. So, are these two sides equal? Yes. Are these two sides equal? Yes. Does it have four equal angles? Yes. Can that be a rectangle? Yes. It can't. Okay. Let's talk about. Oh, yep. Don't forget to draw you a little rectangle. Remember what it looks like. Got to have pictures. Don't give me time to draw. I'm going to use my bedroom. The shape. Yep, that's fine. Keep it organized. You might need to use this later. Longest. Next one. What did we say this was? Oh, Trapezoid. 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 So this is a trapezoid. What about this one? What's this? That. Um, walk around another trapezoid. Say, another trapezoid. See that? Yeah. It's what, what, what's unique about these trapezoids? They're different. They have one set of parallel lines. Okay, so they have one set of parallel lines. Which one is it? Is it these two? They're two on the top and the bottom. The top and the bottom. So parallel and parallel. Okay, what about these two? No, because they're like that. Yeah, they're tapered. See how that one is? Yes. Like that one? Okay. So, how many sides does it have? Four. Four. So, I know it's a quadrilateral. Now, you said we have two sets of parallel, or two parallel lines. Okay. 
Someone read the directions for me. give you a bag different shapes in it. What are we going to do first? Sort them. Yeah, we're going to take them out and we're going to sort them. Okay, so what are we sorting them into? Triangles and quadrilaterals. And quadrilaterals. If you look on your paper, you have triangles and right here you do your quadrilaterals. I don't know why, but you just have quadrilaterals. <laughs> Sort them. And once you get it figured out, I want you to draw that shape into the box. Make sure you work together. The triangles after the quadrilateral. Okay, yeah. So drop these in that box. And drop something else like this. Don't have to be the same size. The box is small. Yes, right. So you know, what is it? Square. I want you to draw a square. I want you to draw a square. So if you can draw one bigger square, one little square. So how do we know what this was? I see everybody got it right. Because it has three sides, not That's four. three sides. What's this one? Three sides. So what are they? Triangles. Triangles. So everybody should have them drawn in the triangle box. Uh -huh. Now look at this. What are these? Squares. So this one's a whole lot bigger than this one. Does that matter? No, it doesn't matter. Okay, why? It's still squares. Why, why is it a square? Four equal sides. Does this one have four equal sides? Yeah. Yes. Four equal angles. The bottom has four equal angles. Good job. You got them drawn out, you can put them back in the baggie. How many sides is it? Three sides. They're going right there. The rest of these, you're going to draw in. They don't have to be the same size. You can just keep drawing. So, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so once you have them drawn in there, you got a question below it. Okay, it says, how did you know which box to place the shape in? Okay, so I want you to write me a, a sentence right here telling how you knew to put the shape in which box. Okay? Once you get them all drawn, go ahead and do that for me. 